Yes, cumulatively, O'Donnell is winning this round just as handily as he won the first two. He's got a great variety of punch, and he's got uh, a lot of punches in him. He's thrown a lot of punches tonight. So, though, has Bolladon, desperately trying to come to grips with it. But every time he gets to set, set up like there, O'Donnell's bobbing and weaving, keeping out of the way. And like most fighters, Bolladon's finding it very hard to combat the southpaw. Last three quarters of the minute of the third round, scheduled for six. If you've been watching the previous three, you'd be doubting that this will go the distance. Last fight out, O'Donnell stopped his man, Jay Morris, in the sixth. It was a, officially a TKO. It was only scheduled for six. Look at snappy right hand. Volodin throws his own right, but it was less crisp. Very quick, quick jab that is from O'Donnell. Really quick. And even if you've read it, it's very hard to get out of the way of it. Every time he throws it, it seems to find target. Good round again for John O'Donnell. Finland a couple of times, Latvia twice in Sweden have been the previous countries where Sergei Volodin has fought. Three losses, two wins. I think after tonight it'll be four losses and two wins. But let's not count the chickens. Taller man. But we'll get an opportunity somewhere in this round to see a snappy right lead. Look at that. Right, going right down the middle, right down the right down the throat of the Latvian. He had to have a quick hand, and he certainly got that. And defensively, you see him weaving out of the way. But Dave Boy McCauley, like all the Latvians, this this fella isn't here just to pick up a few handy quid. No, they're a tough, tough, they're tough people, Jim. There's no doubt about it. You can see that this man here, Volodin. He's a tough fella too. That you can, he's just happens to be up against a class fighter. You know, if he was in with somebody slightly uh, not as good, like Volodym would be shining through here because he's not a bad fighter. He's strong, you know, and he, he, he's more like a pro. You know, he know, and he can take a good shot, and he's brave. You know, but look at this. This is unbelievable, unbelievable from uh, O'Donnell. He's just systematically he's breaking him down here. But as I said earlier, the only thing that O'Donnell lacks here is a really good, solid uh, knockout punch. That's the only thing that this young man lacks, but that, that could be improved, you know, by, uh, as I said earlier on, but we're starting to move a wee bit more from the lateral bit up, you know, from, from his waist up, we can get a bit more power behind those hooks. It might take away a bit of speed, but at least you'll have a bit more power and be able to do a, a lot more damage. And then just go back to the speed whenever he wants. You'll switch forward back to him from. Good hands there again from O'Donnell. Quick as lightning. As soon as he sees an opening, he's in. Well, for that little misdemeanor. Touch it, loves. Signify that everything's all right. Last 45 seconds. Done, not quite fighting the range with those last four punches he threw. Step back, call break. And now Donald seems to have lost the range and lost the accuracy. He's missed with the last four or five shots.
they're bobbing and weaving like uh, the Volodin's doing. What you do is you concentrate on the body because it can't move as quick, it doesn't move as much, and it's a far bigger target. So when the head starts to bob and weave, go downstairs. Two rounds to go. For Donald's night so far. Fifth round and straight away O'Donnell's down to business. Although we're quite near the Latvian corner. I'm afraid my schooling didn't reach to Latvian. So what we're saying, other than the fairly obvious, try and get inside and try and throw a big shot. But this O'Donnell is good. He's getting a bit fed up being in Southpaw. And at any moment I can see him switching. He's thrown so many right hands tonight. Maybe he could do it a couple of left leads just for a change. But he certainly knows how to throw them and he's got his quicked right hand as we've seen. You see, Volodin should be, should be uh, trying to trap McDonald in the corner here because when, he, when he's inside Volodin, you know, he's a good body, sh you know, he throws good body shots, he throws, he throws good head shots. He's a hooker and that's what he wants to do. But he can't hook this. Uh, O'Donnell because he's too standing too far away, but he wants to get close and try and knock O'Donnell out of a straight. I know it's difficult, but if he wants to have a chance of having some success, keep it as close as what he can. Jump in. When he does that, O'Donnell ties him up. As they come out of that break, O'Donnell through the left hand of the body, the right to the head. You can see them yourself. Right and left hand there, crunching into the jaws either side of the of the face of Volodin. And some young voices in the UL here shouting, "Come on, John O'Donnell!" Taking too many shots, as Emil Keith says, and I wouldn't argue with that. He has taken too many, and Emil is trying to explain to his corner that that's the decision, and it's a referee of compassion. The young Emil Teat has come over and kindly asking uh, the corner of Volodin to button the lip. Well, I think anybody watching them would have to say that Volodin did take too many, but he certainly wasn't in distress, to be fairness to him, Dave. No, but the thing is, what, what I mean is that there, he moved him because there was no chance of Volodin winning the fight, none whatsoever. Uh, he couldn't get a real good hard shot on O'Donnell. It didn't look like he ever was going to, and I think everybody has their own opinions, but Amir Tate did what he thought was right, and they saved the fighter any, any more punishment he stepped in. Look, that's enough, because I don't think you have any chance of winning us, and you're being hit far too often. Amir Tate has been around the boxing game for a long time, like his father, Fred, before him, and it's nice to see a referee showing compassion and common sense, which do go hand in hand. And whilst uh, uh, there was no sign of real distress, it's better to be sure than sorry and not be going to visit him maybe tomorrow or the next day in the local hospital here in Limerick. So John O'Donnell won it with a magnificent display of comfort and shortly we'll have the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and one second of round five in the interest of Sergio Bolland, his own interest of safety, the referee has stopped the contest. O'Donnell won his last John one. John O'Donnell. In the sixth round, he's won this one in the fifth round. And if he was as impressive the last day as he was tonight, here in the 
Green is a fellow on his way to greater and bigger things. The name is John O'Donnell.